Cure for Wellness is directed by uh, Gore Fravinsky, who did the original, or not the original, but the first remake of The Ring, and the first Pirates of the Caribbean movies, along with Rango. Um, most of those movies I enjoy. Uh, I don't really particularly care for the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie, but whatever. Uh, he just kind of disappeared after Rango, though. He won the Oscar, then he just kind of went, I don't know, just... Uh, and now he's uh, directing this movie, starring Dane DeHaan as a man who works at a company of sorts. I mean, it's a company, but never. Uh, some some legal practice, and uh, he's told to go retrieve a patient at a spa kind of thing in the Swiss Alps. Uh, it's a really nice spa for like old people mostly. And um, yeah, so he's uh, told to go get him uh, there or. From there, and bring him back because he has to sign off on some legal matters. Or, well, legal matters as they say in the movie. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so he goes to this uh, hotel spa kind of thing. And, uh, well, let's just say he doesn't leave. Uh, and we'll keep it at that. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that's our plot kind of set up. It's a creepy, not a sane asylum per se, but they are kind of insane or... Yeah, so it's a weird little mixture of, um, like an insane asylum movie, like, it's like Shutter Island, mixed with Crimson Peak, mixed with Bioshock, mixed with kind of Resident Evil element, because it's a very mis um, mystery-based game, and a Tim Burton vibe, all things I like, I love gothic movies, I love movies li uh, with, like, really, uh, really gothic settings, and what I can say about this movie is it looks absolutely Gorgeous! It looks beautiful! Holy crap! Like, this is one of the uh, best movies just to watch I've seen, like, forever. Like, just to look at it, it is absolutely gorgeous. Everything from the art design, the production design, costume design, everything looks immaculate. It's Oscar worthy. I'm not kidding. Uh, I, I wish this movie was coming out towards the end of the year so it can get some more contention for the technical um, achievements that it uh, has, I guess. Uh, yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the look of this movie. About the movie itself, I love this movie. This movie is awesome. This is a movie that you're going to either love or you're going to hate. It's kind of, uh, there might be some in, in between, but mostly it's just going to be love or hate. It's gonna be, there's going to be some very mixed reviews on this one. I love this movie. I love the story behind this movie. I thought it was very mysterious. I love the mystery of it all. I got really wrapped up in it. Uh, not just because of the gorgeous visuals, because it actually has a solid story behind it with good characters that I liked. I like Dane DeHaan. Uh, I usually like Dane DeHaan, but like, I didn't know, like, from the trailer, it looked like he was going to be kind of, even though this movie looked awesome from the trailer, uh, he looked like he was going to be kind of that dull, just main character that you, you follow, but you don't really particularly hook to. He has a good story behind him. I like the way they fleshed his character out. I thought he worked pretty well uh, in the movie, and I liked him as our main protagonist. Uh, so yeah, he works fine. And as I said, the mystery is really good. Uh, the girl uh, who's in the story who uh, gets uh, wound into this mystery somehow, I'm not going to spoil it. I liked her a lot. I forgot her name. It's Mia Goth or something like that. If, if her last name's Goth, that's the perfect last name for, uh, for someone to star in a movie like this. Because, yeah, this movie is very gothic. It has that gothic vibe, like a Tim Burton movie. And I love Tim Burton, so that helps. Um, but I love these kind of movies. And I also really like, like, insane asylum kind of movies. Like, this isn't an insane asylum. This is like a, a mental patient spa, almost. Um, it's weird, because I don't want to spoil the mystery for you. But it's, it's like a resort spa thing, but they don't leave. And they're kind of crazy, and there's doctors there who... Uh, observe them and treat them so it's an uh, interesting uh, combination of things and this movie does get a little trippy uh, trippy from times or from time to time at least uh, there's some scenes that though I feel like could have been done a little uh, maybe better per se there's I'm not gonna spoil anything but there is a scene this is no spoilers to the plot whatsoever it will not affect your viewing experience in the slightest so here you go. Um, I'm just going to tell you this one little detail. There's a scene where something's happening with Dane DeHaan. I'm not going to spoil it because uh, it's a really cool scene. But 
this dude is uh this dude who's supposed to be like helping him out is like fapping off to this uh this nurse with her tits sagging out uh it's such a weird moment because it i don't know it doesn't particularly betray everything that's happened this far, but it tries to be a little too cerebral in that moment. Uh, it pushed the boundaries a little too far for what it was going for. That's just one of my minor problems with the movie. Uh, I'm just saying that right away. I just I felt like they could have done that a little better. I don't think he needed to be beating off to the nurse, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, that was the thing I kind of had a problem with. And it's like 25 minutes too long. It's like an hour and 26 minutes, or two hours and 26 minutes. It's really long. It could have been shortened down a little bit. Aside from that, I think this is a great movie. It's my favorite movie of the year so far. I love this gothic uh, setting um, that this movie has, as I've already explained. But I also really like the mystery. It's not just the setting of the movie and the visuals, which are fantastic on their own. Uh, it's just, I like, thought the story was really strong. I thought it was a creepy atmosphere. It sets up the atmosphere very well. It's a very atmospheric movie. Uh, as I said, it reminded me of like Crimson Peak, and I really like Crimson Peak, so that helps... Uh, reminded me of a lot of like movies and video games. It's very original in that way, cause like there's so many things you gotta mesh into one to make this movie. That, like it, it's very original. Uh, I think this should get like a best original screenplay nominee uh, if the Oscars were at the end of the, or if they're sorry. This movie came out later in the year and it got Oscar contention. Uh, I think it deserves it. Uh, but yeah, just I'm gonna shorten it. I love Cure for Wellness, or A Cure for Wellness. I think you should definitely see it when it comes out on the 17th. Yep. And I'm going to give it an A-, minus, uh, just because uh, yeah, it was a little too long, and there's a couple scenes that are a little too cerebral that don't really quite work. But whatever. I thought it was a great movie. I completely understand if you don't really like this movie, if it's not really your thing. Because I like really weird stuff. Uh, I like really weird and different movies. Uh, so, if this movie is not your cup of tea, I get it. Whatever. But, yeah, so that's my review for A Cure for Wellness. I'm going to be seeing the Lego Batman movie uh, in the morning, so I'll have a review for that tomorrow. Uh, so, that's my review for A Cure for Wellness. So, peace.